Getting criticized for you know my triple digit uh, silver call, um, I'm kind of used to that. Um, uh, I think because I did that 10 years ago, and I've been laughed at quite a lot as a result of that. You know, now at $30 silver, maybe you know people are waking up to the fact that that actually might happen. You know, let's let's knock wood and and, and, and hopefully it does, at least in our lifetimes. But um, yeah, um, yeah. You look, I, I think we're in another bull bull market. I, I'm I'm super bullish on copper. Uranium, silver, gold, uh, you know, it's really time for investors to really look at the space. Bank of America recently forecasted a bullish trend for silver, anticipating a price increase through the latter half of 2024 into 2025. This optimistic outlook is driven by expectations of ending central bank interest rate hikes and increased investment in precious metals. Keith Newmeyer, CEO of First Majestic Silver, has a distinguished career in the mining industry and is a well-known advocate for silver. From a technical perspective, Keith Newmeyer urges investors to take his triple-digit silver price forecast seriously in the face of the ongoing commodity bull market. He believes silver's industrial importance should be more recognized, given its critical role in electronics, solar panels, nuclear plants, and more. According to preliminary projections by the Silver Institute, global industrial demand for silver in 2023 is expected to set a record, leading to another big market deficit. Industrial silver demand is projected to rise 8% to a record 632 million ounces. Based on his recent observation, Neumeyer highlights the growing silver supply-demand deficit. He expresses concern and believes this supports higher prices, predicting silver should be valued towards $70 given these levels. According to the recently released World Silver Survey, 2024 marks the fifth consecutive year of a silver shortage, with this year in particular being one of the most intense on record. Silver demand exceeded supply in 2023, resulting in a structural market deficit of over 142 million ounces. Due to surging industrial demand, the forecast indicates that the annual production shortfall will nearly double to 265 million ounces by the end of 2024. Now, we present the clips of Keith Newmeyer's insights from his recent interview with Kitco News. Before we continue to delve into this discussion, please subscribe to our channel and activate the bell icon for timely updates. Well, it's nice to see thirty dollars, of course. You know, and, and the last time we saw silver run to thirty, there there was a, you know, you had the chairman of the uh, CFTC on, on on CNBC or or MSNBC or whatever yeah. it was saying, "Oh, we successfully tamped down the market." And I'm going like, "What the heck? Like, why are this? Why is the regulators worried about thirty dollars silver?" And, uh, and, and uh, you know, we saw thirty dollars silver pretty quickly this last run. Uh, you know, we went from twenty. 3, 24, 25 to 30 in a matter of a month, and it's held up quite nicely. Uh, today is not a great day, as we know, but yeah. uh, it, it's still it's, it's still got a 30 in front of it. Yeah. I'm excited about it. You know, where for us it's a big difference. Um, the margins on our metal, you know, is substantial now, and uh, I'm looking for higher prices still. You know, I just think because it's such an industrial metal, and uh, and you know, people look at silver as as a poor man's gold, which is it's not. You know, silver is not gold. Silver is a commodity, a strategic commodity that we need as a human race to accomplish all the things that we're wanting to do. Mm -hmm. uh, electronics, solar panels, nuclear uh, plants, and you, you name it. Everything that we do construct requires some component of silver. And it's not that well understood. And, and uh, I think, you know, you, you get these big trading desks at these banks that are just used to seeing a certain number associated with a certain commodity or instrument or stock or whatever. And, and, and when the price gets to a range, uh, the bo bottom end or the top end of that range, they become buyers or they become sellers. And, and, uh, and there's nothing beyond that. They don't, these traders that work, and I used to be a trader on the floor uh, uh, um, years ago in the 80s, and I worked for three national banks myself. And look, I, I know how, how it is. And yeah. uh, these guys just, you know, think of it just as a number on a screen. Yeah. They don't actually realize, hey, look, this is an important metal. And we, it should not be trading at these prices. It should be trading at a much higher price. And that, uh, you know, it, it is coming around because, you know, you saw in the last couple of weeks, the short position was increasing a little bit. So I'm not at all surprised to see the knockdown today. But the shorts are not as aggressive today as they were a couple of years ago. Tomorrow, they were at the Rural Conference, as your listeners are aware, and I have a, a presentation tomorrow talking about the supply and demand fundamentals of silver. And we're in a four-year deficit now. 
And these deficits are growing. This, this is not, you know, 50,000 ounces or five, or this is 240 million ounces of silver deficit. And that number is climbing every single year. And in a, in a sector where the mining sector only produces 850 million ounces a year, and, and you're, you're in a 240 million deficit, deficit? Like, how does that work? Yeah. No, no wonder why we have a $30 silver. We remind you, it probably should be 50 or 60 or 70 at these uh, deficit numbers. Keith Newmeyer predicts a new bull market for commodities, particularly led by gold and silver. He notes that stability returns after volatile years and expects growing institutional interest in mining, particularly for silver's industrial uses, such as nuclear plants. The Zax mining silver industry prospects look promising on the back of rising silver prices. Global industrial demand for silver is expected to reach record levels in 2024, mainly driven by photovoltaics, while supply is expected to dip 1%. This suggests a fourth consecutive year of deficit for the silver market, likely to bolster prices. Silver price trades inside Monday's trading range near $31 in Tuesday's Asian session. The white metal exhibits sheer strength as a rate cut by the Federal Reserve in September appears to be a done deal. Regarding silver prices, Neumeyer suggests caution, indicating potential consideration if silver approaches $40. Despite past criticisms of his bullish forecasts, Neumeyer notes increasing acceptance as silver's price rises. Let's get back to the interview. I think we're getting into another major bull market in commodities and then, you know, led by gold and then, uh, um, you know, silver's now popping its head up. And, and, and you know, if, if you go back to 2000, uh, you know, the Nasdaq hit 5,000 in March of 2000, and uh, it, it went to 800, you know, over the next three years, dropping 80%. Um, during that period of time, when I put first Majestic together back in 2002, and we just uh, um, celebrated our 20th anniversary last yes. September, which is great. Um, but nevertheless, you know, uh, gold was at $240 an ounce, mm -hmm. silver was five bucks. And by 2011, we had you know virtually $1,900 gold and almost $50 silver. Yeah. So, but then it ended, and it, you know, and, and we've been in this kind of this bear market since 2011, all the way to I'd probably you know put a, a pin in the wall maybe 20 to 21, because mm. you know from 2016 to 2021 it was very volatile. Uh, it was never, it was just this, this uh, uh, up and down, up and down action where, you know, you, the institutions got scared away from the market because you just, you know, you'd, you'd buy and the next thing you know, you're, you're offside and you have to sell and uh, it, it, it just, it was chaotic. Mm -hmm. But now I think now we've got some stability, you know, the upside I think is pretty um, obvious. Uh, I think there's a lot more funds, institutions starting to look at this space. Uh, we're feeling it ourselves. and. Uh, you know, I, I think we just need to uh, get some big money financing the mining sector, and uh, I think it will happen. There's yeah. a, there's enough voices out there that that are talking about you know what we're going to do, yeah. like how are we going to achieve all the things we're going to achieve? You know, to build a nuclear plant. You know, how much silver is in that thing? There's a lot of silver in a nuclear plant. We're not going to run numbers at thirty dollars silver. You know, it's it's you know may, maybe you know if silver gets up to forty or something, we might consider that, but. Um, uh, you know, we have to be somewhat conservative because when we buy a mine, mm -hmm. you know, it, depending if it's operating or not, if it's already operating, then great. But, um, you know, you, you need a 10 year payback period, yeah. basically. So, you, you know, you run you, your numbers at conservative levels and uh, uh, if it works, it works great. But uh, it's, it's not easy. Getting criticized for, you know, my triple digits uh, silver call. Um, I'm kind of yeah. used to that. Yeah. And then because I did that 10 years ago and I've been laughed at quite a lot. Of, as a result of that, you know, now at thirty dollars silver, maybe you know people are waking up to the fact that that actually might happen. You know, let's let's knock wood and and and, and hopefully it does, at least in our lifetimes. But um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Look, I I think we're in another bull bull market. I I'm I'm super bullish on copper, uranium, silver, gold. Uh, you know, it's really time for investors to really look at the space and and go for you know. Uh, you know, pick some good companies, and there's lots of good companies at this conference, and uh, you know, people should be looking at it seriously. Silver prices have increased by 30.23% since the beginning of the year. Based on fundamentals, silver will likely outperform gold in the coming years due to its ever-increasing industrial demand. With silver poised to reach new highs amid supply shortages and growing industrial demand, how do you think this will impact investment strategies in the precious metals market? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. If you find this video informative, don't forget to support our channel and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest videos. See you in the next video.